So we're on the topic of sperm donation. So how does it work? Does a couple go in, they want to have a kid, right? So usually if you need a sperm donor, you like, can't really have kids or something, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. So you go into some sort of facility. Is there a pamphlet of different like guys, like good looking guys, categories, like blacks, whites, Indians, uh, Asians? Surely there's a catalog of what the guy looks like because they can't just give you freebie sperm and then woman gives birth and then it's like, damn, this thing is dark. <laughs> A black or is baby. it a thing where you just take what you get? Oh, an Asian baby. And I was not expecting that. Uh, when they say, okay, this is gonna be the guy that's gonna donate, do you get a background check? Like, is this guy athletic? Is he this or that? Do you meet the guy? There's no way. Let's say me and Kyla are going into the sperm game. <laughs> what? And you're the sperm donor. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yep, I'll be taking care of you guys today. <laughs> Surely I'd be giving the sperm. Why would you give the sperm to my girl? Because like you can't provide that for your Because I'm broken or something, right? Yeah, so you're shooting like empty clips. <laughs> so either the people that would be looking for a sperm donor would be either single women or a couple where the guy doesn't have working sperm. No, that's why we're asking the vlog. Yeah, because they y'all know everything on a damn vlog. What if like I want to be a sperm donor and I go to the bank and, and I was like, yeah, I want to be a sperm donor. Can anybody be a sperm donor? Right? There's no way. You got to be like good looking guy. You don't really qualify for what we're looking looking for here at this bank. Fill, fill out this form and we'll get back to you. <laughs> they never get back to you, then you know you're ugly. That's how you tell if you're ugly or not. Go to the sperm donation place. If they turn you away, then you're ugly and you know. Let's say your girl can't give birth, then you gotta give it to the other woman to give birth for your child. I don't know how if, if I could do that. Cause then the other woman will carry the baby. Wouldn't she have a connection with that baby? And and it comes out, here you go. Oh, right? oh yeah, imagine you give birth. Give me that. It's your woman's egg plus your stuff. She just being the holder. It ain't gonna look like the woman. It's gonna look like y'all. Like I want a good looking kid. Do you have that opportunity to pick and choose? Yeah, because then you got people going in there like the single white woman. I want me a mixed baby. You know, I heard nowadays you can choose if you want a female or a male. Like, what? I think you Bet. can do that now. Bet. But you can choose and move some stuff around in your DNA and like, do you want a boy? All right, we can do that for you. Even like eye color and stuff. Eye color and shit. Build a baby? Cop out. purpose, yeah. Oh, he's standing like that. It doesn't look real. It looks like the Build-A-Bear workshop King thing. Life. Now, is this one of those teacup dogs? Because like, when they breed them to be tiny like this, they like die and shit. I had a Malteser once. Is that what it called? Oh, that's Maltese? Or is that a candy? Malteser's are candy. But there's a dog called a Maltese. Yeah. Yes, I had a white one and it died at like four months. They must made it with a small dog or something. It's a golden doodle. <laughs> a golden doodle? Golden doodle. Its lifespan will be hindered because of it's been bred to be small, like unnaturally small. Poodle live a long life, 14, 15 years, and same with uh, Golden Retrievers. Well, look, mine of it's 30 years. This Coco was like 18 type shit. Wow, rest in peace. So what's up guys? This is the most random vlog on the planet. You know how our life is basically like a movie or whatever? I just met Ines. And Ines is from Belgium. She speaks French, and I found that out when I talked to her. And then we also happen to be here with our other two best friends, Alex and Alex, but <laughs> they have different pronunciations and maybe, could you guys explain that real quick? My OG name is Alexis, as you would say in English, but that's like a kind of a girl's name. <laughs> so I'd rather be called Alex. And I'm Alexan in French, but Alexane, mm. I would say in English. You guys are from Quebec. Quebec. The type of French that she speaks is different from theirs, and it's almost the equivalent of like how British people and Americans have. They speak the same language, but there's different nuances to the to the whatever language, or whatever. Could you talk to them for a second and just say some words? Bonjour, comment ça va? Ça va bien toi? Could you tell them a little bit about you, just like who you are in general? J'habite à Bruxelles. J'aime bien faire la fête. Aller à la salle. That's it. <laughs> <rire> c'est ça, j'espère qu'il y a des fans au Québec de Love Sur. C'est moi qui ai dit les vlogs, fait que genre, t'écris dans les commentaires que je suis fucking G pis tout. Ouais. And she didn't understand some of that? No. She makes French and English a lot. How long have you been here? Do I have to speak French? Or? No, you can speak English. That way I can, they can know. Uh, I'm here, uh, I went here. Oh, whoa. I just moved here uh, two months ago. Mm. And how do you like it? Uh, I love it. Mm. It's different. You're never gonna go back? No. Mm. Uh -huh, ever, ever. And my question to you, I think I asked this earlier. Would people in Belgium, would they like Americans? Like, would they think we're cool because we have accents? Not for the accent, it's because here you have everything. 
how they say and like the cool people, Hollywood. Mm -hmm. It's like a movie, that's why I like it. You just have one sister or that? I have some family here, but I don't really talk to them. And what do you do here? You are in school or what's your... Why uh, did you come here? I'm in college, but I just take one class because it takes one year to be resident. Their grading system is weird, tell them. So we have six years of elementary like you guys, and then we have... I think we have five years. Really? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I've heard of like people having weird middle schools, like there'll be two years of middle school and something. Yeah, we but don't have middle school at all. Oh shit. So we go straight to high school for five years, and then there's that thing called Sige, huh? which is like cool. in between high school and university, and then we go to college. In high school, we don't learn our profession. We learn like everything. In Sige College, mm -hmm. we would like go for me on photography and stuff. Uh, oh, I feel like that's what it is for the US too, like it's broad. Then again, Noah's school had some shit. They had cool shit at his Oh school. yeah, there's different things. And is y'all school is like high tech? Like is it a rich country? My school was low-key run the f down. It depends on the school. I went to a, pri a private high school, so it was pretty like rich, I guess. Uh, do y'all's parents have like money? Like medium, high medium class. Okay, so, yeah. same with you. Same, but like my friends were super rich and uh, like and they have boats and everything. And for me, it's like no, it's not that. But my parents want to make uh, put their money into our education. Mm. Now, what about you? What, what was your school like? High school, I changed a lot. How do you say double? Like when you repeat the year? She 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 redo a year. I don't know if it's the same for you. I have like uh, primaire, secondaire. It's like six year and six year. It's six Plus year, it's five six year. And five. Oh, yeah. You, Plus it's yeah. like six and six. What you want to study at, like yours? You can yeah. choose like science co or maths, like one. So their system like is everybody. different from ours too. And That's her favorite English friends. word, by the way. Do the party B. How's it go? Uh, sheesh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's her favorite word. Damn. What's your favorite part about being in America? Everything. I told you. The sun, the people are cool, mm. they're nice, smiling. I know it's for tips, but I don't care. I prefer someone who is smiling at me than someone who is like, I don't like my life. Oh, facts. French people are like that. Because they don't have tips, so why should them be like smiling? They don't have peeps? Tea? Tips. Tips at the restaurant. It's interesting though, they don't tip out there. Oh, in Quebec they tip? Yeah, in yeah. Quebec they tip, Damn. yeah. No, we don't. What? Damn! It's nothing, nothing. What? I feel like I knew that. Like they I don't did. they don't tip in nothing. And there's no free refills in your No, we house. don't we don't put the ice in the water and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why they're in shape is because they don't be doing no free refills. Mm -hmm. They don't have all the crap that we eat here. Yeah, like, but the fast food is so good. Mm -hmm. You might just Get fat here. That's why everybody's. <laughs> you know, facts, Louis. Alex said kids would get detention in high school if they spoke English. What? It was a French school, and in Quebec, they're trying to push French a lot to keep the language alive in Canada. So if you spoke uh, English in our school, you would get detention. Oh my Me? god. What do you think about us based on our your first impression? Uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, see, we're putting on the spot, so you have to say they're nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, that's, that's your new word. You're putting her on. Uh huh. Say it again. No. <laughs> so you guys could really roast us. Yeah. In front of us. Well, we don't have the same bad vocabulary. So oh, we yeah. Sure. Tabarnak, Carlis. I felt that. Yeah. Do y'all have an equivalent to in your language? Yeah. We say. <laughs> <laughs>